This is Daniel Cook making a self portrait. Hi, I'm here with Julia. Today she's going to teach me how to create a self portrait. Hi, Julia. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. How do you make the faces come off, off the picture? Well, we're going to use this plaster. It's called Plaster Craft. It's that gauze and plaster, and we're going to dip it into water, and then you can build it up. So you, this, this one has tons of layers. It's very heavy now. Or you can make it just a nice light relief, and you can make your face, your smiling features that way, or your frowning mouth. Something tells me this might be messy. What do you think? What feature of your face sticks out further? My nose, maybe. Your nose and your forehead? And my chin. Mm-hmm. How about your sulky lip? Can we make the plaster now? Sure, let's clear this off and start working, okay? Okay. <laughs> so this plaster is not hard to cut, so you don't need sharp, sharp scissors. Actually, you can tear this if you want to, but that creates a big mess. The best crafts are my messy coming. <laughs> <laughs> What's all this white powder coming off? That's all the plaster. What facial expression are you going to do? We're going to do surprised. What does that look like? Well, if we look in the mirror, what would my eyebrows be doing? <gasps> my eyebrows would be up high on my forehead. And what would my mouth shape be? Pretty round, huh? My chin dropped down. So do I know what ex expression you're going to use what, on your self-portrait? Scary. What's yours going to look like then? Oh, that's scary. Okay, I think that's about enough. All we have to do now is get some water out and we can start dipping them in and then we can put them on our canvas. All right, so we're gonna use the mirror in front of us, Daniel. So what am I doing? Surprised. And what are you gonna do? <laughs> this is Daniel Cook working with plaster. So dip it in, hold on to it, squeeze it out as you come out. Now pull it out again, squeeze it out. Okay, now you're ready. What are you working on? I'm doing it my startled, surprised face. It does look surprised. And you know what? I have rags. Sometimes it gets a little wet. It's nice to grab a rag and dab the excess water. I'll show you. Let's do a little dabbing. I haven't gotten anything on you. Oh, I have. Well, I've gotten almost everything on me. <laughs> Let me see what my neck looks like. And shoulders, knees, and toes. My da da da. The finishing touch. I always call it the finishing touch, even when they're not done. Last piece. Stretch it all out. Good. How long does this take to dry? It takes about 10 minutes. Hey, I know. While we're, while we're waiting, I know a good thing to do to pass the time. What's that? Ice cream! Great idea. Ice cream! Ice cream! Now the fun part. Painting! Great. Let's get painting. Okay. So do you, oh, you're ready. You know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna paint some red eyes. Well, I've also got some trays here if you wanna mix some colors. Okay, you're red. How do you make green. skin color? How do you make skin color? Well, do you know what the three primary colors are? Yeah. What are they? Red. Yep. Blue. Yep. And green. Mm. I mean, red, blue, and yellow. Excellent, excellent. So if you mix those all up together, you're gonna to get a brownish color. We're gonna add some white to it. I think mixing color. So do I. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. No matter what, it's always a good thing to have fun. How are you doing on that? Oh, it looks pretty good. Thank you. Do you know what 
What color are you going to do the background? Red. <laughs> red background. Beautiful. One side red, one side black. Because that's going to make it look very, very scary. You're missing one thing, your name. Ah. Oh, yeah. All done. Terrific. Thank you so much, Julia, for teaching me how to create a self-portrait. It was so much fun. It was fun.